For beginners, go here, and for pros, keep on watching. First, draw a line. And this is optional, but you can make it bend a little bit. Remove the fill, and add a stroke. And add radial repeat. Why? It's faster and easier than to draw these lines one by one and group them. Next, set the radius to zero. Now add drawing progress. Now here's what it does. Let's say you draw this vector line from left to right. Start is the first dot of the line, and end is the last dot of the line. So if you scroll start, it will move from the first dot of the line. And if you scroll end, it will move from the last dot of the line. Now tap on end. Add two keyframes. First keyframe 0, the second keyframe 100. Position the keyframes like this and use this graph. Tap on start. Add two keyframes. First keyframe 0 and second keyframe 100. Position the keyframes slightly behind the end keyframes and use this graph. Congratulations, you've made a burst animation. But to make it like this, you need to duplicate your burst animation, change the color and rotate it only a little bit and then repeat this process again and again until you're satisfied with the results. If you want to make it look better, then move the layers slightly behind one another like this and you're done. Subscribe! First, draw a line. And this is optional, but you can make it bend a little bit. Remove the fill. And add a stroke. And add radial repeat. Why? It's faster and easier than to draw these lines one by one and group them. Next, set the radius to zero. Now add drawing progress. Now tap on end. Add two keyframes. First keyframe 0, the second keyframe 100. Position the keyframes like this and use this graph. Tap on start, first keyframe 0, and second keyframe 100. Position the keyframes slightly behind the end keyframes and use this graph. Congratulations, you've made a burst animation. you need to duplicate your burst animation. Change the color and rotate it only a little bit and then repeat this process again and again until you're satisfied with the results. If you want to make it look better, then move the layers slightly behind one another, like this. And you're done! Subscribe!